I came to the UK to play in a rock band. I put the band together with a, with a friend. I found through a magazine that was around at the time, Melody Maker. We would rehearse maybe two or three times a week. We did probably about 50 gigs in the space of a couple of years. But at the same time, I set up a commercial recording studio at the bar behind I ran the studio for about five years until I turned it into a record label. Disco Magic UK. We were exclusively vinyl, licensing specific tracks from the, the Italian catalogue and also from some French companies, German companies, only those tunes that were piano horns. Towards the end of the 90s, the vinyl market died out. I put the company on hold and I went to university and got a degree in commercial music production. I was employed by Bucks New University and I was a lecturer for 15 years teaching studio production. When I decided to go back into production, I wanted to make it my unique selling point that I would be using the same equipment that I was using in the 90s. Using original equipment, you have the individual characteristics and quirks of each individual piece of equipment all added together to give it the, the realistic character. The DJs I'm selling my records to, they never had anything new to play for 20 years. All the new releases were just on digital. I knew that I had a, an audience for that, that I had a market for that. They can see that I have a passion for the style of music they like, and it's something that at the moment no one else does. If I had to find one word to define what Piano House gives to the listeners, is the word that we use by everyone, is uplifting. Click the videos to watch more Londoners and don't forget to subscribe.